Education is the key input in the creation of human capital and development. Punjab's role in producing qualified professionals is noteworthy. Due to heavy investment by the private sector in higher education, Punjab has today become a hub for education. Apart from Punjab Technical University, which has a vast network of colleges all over the state, many private institutions have also become popular among students from all over the country. One such private university located in Jalandhar has 24,000 students from 25 different states on its rolls. Rohit and Vivek Pandey are from Uttar Pradesh in North India and are pursuing a degree in B.Tech. For them, Punjab is quite like home. If someone says that this is Punjab, then I think that there is no wrong thing. India is a democratic state, a democratic country and everybody has equal right to live in each and every state. अगर सिखों का जगह है तो सिख ही रहेंगे। Basically, they should not be discriminated on the basis of caste। अगर ऐसा हुआ आगे तो पंजाब को प्रॉब्लम हो सकती है क्योंकि सक्सेसफुल बंदा कोई भी हो सकता है, चाहे वो सिख हो, चाहे वो हिंदू, चाहे मुसलमान, कोई भी हो सकता है। लेकिन ये शायद तरक्की ना कर पाए पंजाब। There are five universities in Punjab: Guru Nanak Dev University, Punjab Technical University. Punjab University, Punjabi University and Baba Farid Medical University. As it is a hub for non-resident Indians, several international educational institutions such as Cambridge University of London have a presence in Jalandhar. Education has no boundaries and there are no restrictions on any student on the basis of caste or religion in Punjab. Punjab belongs to Sikh as much as the rest of the country belongs to Sikh. Uh, Sikhs and similarly as all the people from the rest of the country, they have as much stake in Punjab as in any other, uh, as any other section. So, to say that Punjab belongs to six alone would be gross injustice both to six as well as to the whole nation. Punjab faced the dark period of terrorism in the 1980s and early 90s, which also affected the education sector. It's almost two decades since then, but Khalistani Sikh separatists are still making every possible effort to destabilize Punjab. Their motto is divide and rule. Punjab has always been in the forefront of national integration. They have fought for the Punjabis, including Sikhs, fought for uh, national independence. They have been in the forefront of defending the frontiers of India. So how can they let India uh, suffer? And if Punjab suffers, India suffers. If India suffers, Punjab suffers. So the, we, ha we all have to live together and we have to grow together. In the 21st century, Punjab is rapidly becoming a center for quality education. It not only nurtures young minds, but also unites them, irrespective of caste, religion and language. <laughs>